Hey, what's up? Mikey Reyes here. Uh, first and foremost, I want to just I just want to thank everyone who who engaged with the video yesterday. That was crazy. That was crazy. That video was crazy, and a lot of people are still messaging me about continuing that conversation. Maybe a part two. Maybe maybe I'll think about it. I'll think about it because you know. Uh, that was a hot take. That was a hot take. Low key or high key. I knew that everyone was talking about it in their, you know, in their respective little groups or amongst their friends. I I always thought that someone had to speak out and let everybody know what, what was going on. So maybe we'll have a part two. So y'all better subscribe, cause I'm telling you, man. <laughs> dami natin pag-usapan dito. And dami natin pag-usapan dito. All right. So again, thank you very much for everyone who supported yesterday's uh, last night's video, and to those who have subscribed already, I appreciate you. The likes, I appreciate you. The comments, I read all of them. Trust me, I read all of them. All right. So yun. Pero since last night, medyo hot take tayo. Ngayon medyo kalma tayo ng konte. Okay. I just want to talk about something that that uh that is happening in the PBA bubble right now. I don't want to say we expected it, pero we were we're not surprised na medyo... I personally don't believe that injuries come from, or injuries necessarily come from not being in shape because injuries are a part of life. Um, you can't tell me that NBA players aren't in tip-top shape, tas na injure sila. So I don't want to... Huwag natin i... ano yun? Ipagduktong yun. Let's not say that ah, na injured si ganyan kasi wala siya sa condition. That's not true. I mean, pwedeng wala kasi sa condition, pero hindi automatic na wala kasi sa condition. Gets? Pwede, pero hindi lagi. Okay? As a guy who has gone through so many injuries, man, I've been under the knife or I've had surgery one, two, three, four times. Um, yun yung talagang surgery na tulog ka, binuksan ka. I've had, you know, broken bones, broken, uh, na, na, nabali ko to, nabali ko to, ito, ankle, ACL, MCL. So, I've had, I've had pretty much, pretty much all of them. All of the, the, the usual injuries that you see. Uh, so, I just wanna put that out there na wag natin sabihin na porket na injury yung mga PBA players natin. Ano yun? Ibig sabihin nagpabaya sila nung 8 months. But, you know, it's it's something that we, we, we didn't want to happen, but it did. So let's talk about that a little bit. Jericho Cruz of NLEX and RR Pogoy of TNT, both ankle injuries. This is by far the less serious amongst the group of players na na-injure ngayong bubble. Kasi ankle lang naman sila. Uh, just a lot of treatment. I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Pero from a player's perspective, mas okay nang natapilok ka lang kesa yung, obviously, yung mga mas malalang injuries. So, I'm I'm certain that uh, na round-the-clock treatment dun si, dun si uh, RR and si Jericho. And you know what? Being in the bubble, sobrang accessible ng trainer mo. Sobrang accessible ng PT. Unlike on a regular basis, hindi naman ganun ka-accessible, di ba? Sa like, practice, nandun ka. Maybe if you set up a meeting with him, if you set up a session with him. Pero dun talaga, it's just so accessible kasi malamang nandun lang sa kabilang kwarto yung PT, di ba? So I'm sure that very, very soon we're gonna see, they're gonna maybe miss a couple of games, but we're gonna see Jericho and RR Pugoy, especially because both of them have really played uh, well in the bubble, especially RR Pugoy, man. Like, it's sad to see him go down with the, with with something like that. Nakita ko yung play. Kilala ko si Jel Ololino. Um, hindi niya sinadya yun. Hindi niya sinadyang nandun siya sa ilalim ni R.R. Pugoy nung tumira si R.R. Pugoy. Hindi niya man niya sinadyang nandun sa ilalim na sakto sa ilalim yung paa niya dun sa landing ni Pugoy. Kilala ko si Jelo. Jelo, alam kong hindi mo sinasadya na talagang sumakto yung paa mo sa ilalim. Tapos nag-land si Pugoy dun sa jump shot niya. Pero kilala kita. Alam kong hindi mo sinasadya, Jelo. Alam ko. <laughs> de, de, de. I'm just I'm just really kidding. This is not Janet I'm sure this is not Jelion. RR Pogoy has just really been on fire lately, so you really have to be like right there every time he shoots. Jericho Cruz then. Um I talked about the Magnolia and Lex game and it was a big blow, especially without Kevin Alas na long time na yun na injure pa si Jericho. So I I think um I don't know. This this video will come out 7 p.m. Pa eh, so after the Blackwater and Lex games. So I'm not really sure if he's gonna play. But if he doesn't, I'm sure the game earlier medyo malaki yung hole na kailangan i-fill ni na Kevin Alas, Mike Ayon Ayon, obviously Kiefer Ravenna. But, you know, um, hindi ako sigurado kasi nga, di pa nagdalari. Pero kung nanalo sila kanina, buti na lang na, ito, ito ah, ganito mga analyst eh. Ako ah, magiging ano ako ngayon na ah. seryoso ako ngayon na ah. Ang mga analyst, nag-aaral kami. Nag-aaral kami kung ano nangyayari. Pero papakitaan ko kayo ng scenario na kunyari, hindi ko pa alam kung ano mangyayari ah. Ano hours pa lang, 3.30 pa lang. Hindi ko alam kung ano mangyayari. Pero papakitaan ko kayo ah. 
All right, so the game earlier, man, what a game. You know, NLEX just came out on top. Uh, even though Jericho Cruz didn't play, they found a way to really uh, fill that void na iniwan ni Jericho. The energy was there. Jericho is an energy guy. So obviously, coming into the game, you're gonna lose a spark off the bench who really brings energy both on both ends. So it's crazy na nalampasan nila yon. Kevin Alas played well. Kiefer Ravenna also played a hell of a game. Alam natin na mainit na sila. They're 0-2. But that was a great game for NLEX against Blackwater and hopefully Hopefully their momentum, they can keep that going and their energy. And then they'll make condition naman sila unti -unti. But that was a great game. Congratulations to the NLEX Road Warriors getting that dub even without Jericho Cruz. <laughs> oh, kunyari natalo sila. Man, uh, NLEX Road Warriors right now in a big hole. Like what Coach Yang Yao said a couple days ago, they're already, they were already in a big enough hole and they, don't, they didn't want to dig deeper into that hole. But man, going 0-3... Uh, I know that they lost Jericho Cruz. Jericho Cruz didn't play today. But I don't think that's an excuse. Because if you have that, that many weapons in Kevin Alas, Mike Ayon Ayon, Kiefer Ravenna, Raul Soyid, Jer Kinyahan, Kenneth Igalo, though all those guys will really have to step up, especially without a key player like Jericho Cruz. So I'm sure they're going to go back to the drawing board. They're going to fix. They're going to make adjustments for their next game in a couple of days. But, you know, still, we can't count them out. We're, you're talking about a team coached by Yang Giao. You're talking about a team... Uh, where obviously the phenom is there and a, cu a couple of veterans and a couple of you know uh, key rookies na nandun. So we wish them the best. Hopefully Jericho Cruz can come back the next game. Pero we'll see NLEX if they can recover from this. Hopefully they can get their first win in their next one. <laughs> Analyst! Huh? Panis! 3.30 pa lang. Meron na ako. Oh. So, dun sa dalawang yon. Yung isa na lang doon yung isipin ninyo ha. Kung panalo man, yung former. Kung talo, yung latter. Alright? That's analysis there. By yours truly, Mike Urias. <laughs> but yo! Yun nga, Jericho Cruz and RR Pugoy, we wish you the best. And we know that, alam naman natin kung sino si RR tsaka si Jericho. We know na babalik yung mga yan. Alam naman mga puso na mga yan. Hanggat kaya, lalaban niyang dalawang yan. Kevin Rakal, also a key player for Alaska. Sadly, uh, tears his ACL. I was once an ACL uh, uh, victim, if, 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 you can, if, you can, if you can call it that. Alam naman natin that is the most uh, feared injury in, in basketball. But I will tell you this. ACL tears are not as bad as they were. Dati kasi, it was like close to career ending. Ngayon hindi na. Like there are a lot of ACL guys who recovered. Uh, Alin Maliksi had like two, I think. Raul Soyd had one. Kib Montalbo, Larry Fonacher. Uh, all those guys na, 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 na ACL. So this is something that Kevin Rakal needs to go through. I'm telling you right now, nung napunit ko yung ACL ko, sobrang mental siya. More than it is really physical. Kasi yung therapy mo, oh masakit siya. But just the fact na tuturuan ko ulit maglakad, tuturuan ko ulit tumakbo, tuturuan ko ulit tumalon. Diba? Like, it, it's also a chance for you to reset everything and take everything into consideration. Kasi there comes a time na feeling natin superman tayo, lalo na pag-condition tayo, diba? But a big blow like this will really reset everything and help you, uh, you know, like, recollect lang lahat ng thoughts mo and then go from there. So I'm very, very excited for Kevin Rakal to go through this process. You can ask Kevin Alas. It will really make you stronger. It can either break you or make you stronger. So I'm sure Kevin Alas has reached out to his former teammate, Kevin Rakal. Kevin Rakal is, is a warrior and this is nothing to him, I'm sure. Timo si Robert Bolling. Pabalik na yan si Robert Bolick eh. um, After this bubble, hopefully the next uh, conference na si Robert Bolick. And I'm sure Robert Bolick is gonna be better than he was before. So ganun din si Kevin Rakal. Alright? So we wish you the best, Kevin Rakal. That process is long. It's long. And there are times na parang hindi siya matatapos. Pero trust me, from one ACL person, from one ACL player to another, kayang-kaya mo yan. Kayang-kaya mo yan, maniwala ka sa akin. All the best to you. And good luck. And stay strong, brother. Go through the process. Laban lang ng laban. Finally, one of the newer injuries nga na kanina nabasa ko lang. Uh, it happened, I think, yesterday. Ba yun talaga? Oh, yesterday yun eh. Uh, it just happened, uh, may news lang kanina about Terrence Romeo. Uh, you all know how big of a Terrence Romeo fan I am. You all know how how I love the guy and kano siya kabait. No one ever in his right mind would wish Terrence Romeo uh, itong nangyari. Pero sadly, hindi naman sadly. Pero, so na-experience ko yung sprained ankle ni R.R. Pugoy at ni Jericho Cruz. Na-experience ko yung ACL ni Kevin Rakal. Guys, experience ko din yung dislocated shoulder 
na nangyari kay Terence Romeo. And I saw it, it made me cringe nung tumama si Ryan Reyes, which was unfortunate, di naman sinasa dyan ni Ryan Reyes yun. Uh, Kuya Ryan is is just really uh, aggressive on defense, and he really, you know, uses his body. Nachambahan lang, nasakto, tumama dito sa likod. Dito sa likod, tumama si Ryan eh. And the momentum ni Ryan na tumama dito, okay, na pag ganun si, si Terence Romeo. So being in that position before, talagang may chance na kumarap dito yung shoulder mo. Pero, kitang-kita, nung nag-dislocate, parang hindi naman nag-stay na dislocated from my angle. Parang bumalik agad. Parang nagsa-blocks lang. Pero, it's still a dislocation, man. Uh, I saw it that it was 6 to 8 weeks. When I saw 6 to 8 weeks, guys, hindi ko alam kung tama yun, pero I saw 6 to 8 weeks in one of the posts. That just means that he's not gonna get operated on at hindi siya, oper- at hindi siya magkaka-surgery. Maybe it's not torn. Because I had a torn labrum, so kinailangan ko operahan. That's, that, that was four months. I had two surgeries of that, ha. As in, dito sa harapan, <laughs> guys, na-injure ako dito sa harapan, inoperahan. Um, a year later, na-dislocate ulit siya sa likod naman. So, inoperahan ulit ako sa likod. So, now I have a total of six screws on my shoulder. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Edgar Euphemio. You've saved my life and you've saved my career numerous times. But yeah, um, just so you all know, since six to eight weeks lang, hindi siya ooperahan. From what I know, ah, parang impossible naman na six to eight weeks lang binuksan ka tas mag recover na yun, di ba? So yeah, kung hindi man siya operahan, I know that Terence Romeo can get through this. Alam naman natin how positive Terence Romeo is. Uh, it's just sad because all these guys are key players in their respective teams. So we wish them all the best. The teams will have to move on from here. Alam naman natin, it's next man up. So we'll look forward to who's gonna step up. Okay? RR Pugoy, Terence Romeo, Jericho Cruz, and Kevin Rakal, we feel for you. I feel for you as someone who played and really went through a lot of injuries. Kung meron man akong mga injuries na hindi na mention na siguro na miss out ko lang, uh, I'm sorry, but we wish you all the best. Please stay healthy. Everyone in the bubble, lahat ng PBA player ngayon, please stay healthy. Huwag kayo masyado magpuyat, guys. Yung mga PlayStation 4 ninyo, saran nyo na muna ng mga alas 11. <laughs> Good luck to all of you. And again, guys, they play every other day. Or three days lang yung three days max lang yung ano yung pagitan. So you know, stay in shape, guys. Stay in shape. Good luck to everyone in the bubble, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Medyo chill tayo ngayon, guys. Next week tayo let. Next week ulit tayo magkakagulo. All right. So please subscribe. My name is Mike Reyes, and I'll see you all next week. Peace.